turn our attention now to the international newspapers with Diptyka Laurent. Diptyka, going to start with that controversy in Canada over a photograph of the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. That's right, that photo leaked just a month before Canadians head to the polls in national elections. Time magazine broke the story uh, publishing this photograph of Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, back in 2001 at the age of 29, wearing a turban and robes complete with brown face, uh, dressed as Aladdin in an Arabian Nights theme party um, at a private school where he was a teacher. The photo was leaked by a Vancouver businessman, um, forcing Trudeau to issue a groveling apology and admitting to also painting his face during high school um, as a, while performing a, a Jamaican, a traditional Jamaican song. But the damage has been done inevitably, and that's what a lot of the papers are saying, particularly because Trudeau went to great lengths to champion minority rights. And also, it comes at a moment when he's already facing scandal during the beginning of his electoral campaign, accused of uh, pressuring his attorney general to drop corruption charges against um, a Canadian engineering giant. Ah, so that's uh, where the story all started, but it's generated a lot of opinion pieces. That's right. The Vancouver Sun saying this could hit Justin Trudeau hardest in the swing states uh, that are crucial to his re-election. But uh, it must be said, some of those interviewed uh, by the paper say Trudeau shouldn't be punished for an error in his youth, and that he still is the better option uh, over a conservative government that could take Canada uh, to the right. For one Globe and Mail writer, the offense is uh, not just in the outfit, but the silence as well. This writer is saying Trudeau should have uh, revealed this photo years ago, acknowledged it, apologized for it, admitted to acting thoughtlessly, and perhaps today the photo wouldn't have the effect it does at such a crucial time. And one uh, paper, a Canadian French paper, Journal de Montreal, reminds us, as you uh, alluded to earlier, it's not the first time that Trudeau has come under fire for disguises. Well, his love for costumes has gotten him into trouble um, time and time again. Uh, he dressed up, you might remember, in traditional Indian attire back in 20, uh, well, that was last year, during a taxpayer-funded trip to India with his family. That sparked a lot of um, criticism at the time. He also wore a, tr a traditional American Indian headwear in 2016, which was largely seen as cultural inappropriation, uh, a cultural appropriation. And in 2017, he wore a, um, a super Superman costume underneath his suit uh, uh, during uh, ha Halloween. I guess we could all claim to be Superman. I right. might give him that one at least. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move over, Diptyka, to the Netherlands now. And a top criminal lawyer has been assassinated in Amsterdam. Yeah, and it's uh, sparked a lot of shock and outrage in the Netherlands. This Dutch lawyer, Dirk Weersom, was um, uh, defending a crown witness in a major gangland investigation. It's believed his death was connected to that, to the point that the Dutch anti-terror agency now is helping with the investigation. Uh, Weersom was representing Nabil B a key witness in a case against a gang leader called Ridwan Taghi, who's, orchestr who's um, uh, accused of orchestrating, suspected of orchestrating a string of drug-related hits. Uh, the witness's brother was killed last year. That was already seen as a warning to him not to testify. The Dutch police chief now saying that the death of this uh, this criminal lawyer is uh, real has really pushed the country into new territory when it comes to those uh, drug wars and and more so that the lawyer was shot brazenly in front of his family in his home uh, this before a session in a criminal court against 10 suspects uh, in an attack against De Telegraph which is a, a, a national paper in the Netherlands because uh, last year a van drove into the newspaper building causing it to set on fire De Telegraph says that intercepted conversations between drug members shows a fascination with TV shows like Narcos, uh, that the gang leader Ridwan was also called Patron, just like El Chapo and just like um, uh, other drug leaders, and that the, quote, boundlessness, uh, boundlessness of violence seems to have been copied directly from these TV shows. Frightening these stories stuff. there, exactly, yeah. Go near justice and you're in trouble, you're for it. Um, well, moving on, Diptyka, and tens of thousands of people have actually signed a petition calling on the Oxford Dictionary to get with the times and remove sexist representations of women in its definitions. That's right. It all started with one woman's uh, search, a simple search online for synonyms of woman, the word woman. So Maria Beatrice Giovarnadi said she was just looking for synonyms and found things like um, bird, bit, 
maid and wench as synonyms for women. Quite different though for men who get gentleman, guy, lad, chap. Further research highlighted Oxford Dictionary and Thesaurus's sexist representations. It sparked an online campaign under the hashtag sexist dictionary um, and uh, tens of thousands of people have signed this petition. Now, one definition of a woman included, I quote, Miss September will embody the professional, intelligent, yet sexy career woman. And uh, I quote, I told you to be home when I get home, little woman. Uh, the petition is uh, all about changing these kind of uh, phrases, but also becoming more inclusive for transgender women and uh, gay women as well. Interesting stuff. Uh, finally, Diptika, you've spotted uh, something across in China. Uh, they thought they had their very own Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> they did. They thought. That's, a, that's the operative word there. On Chinese social media last week, a video of this alleged monster was viewed 32 million times and sparked lots of conversations about what it could be, this elusive black creature looming in the Yangtze River. Um, alas, it turned out to be uh, an industrial airbag likely discarded from a nearby shipyard. Much less intriguing, Eve, and much more depressing, I've got to say. Absolutely. That's not the brightest way to end our <laughs> press review, but Diptika, interesting. All the same. Thanks a lot for that wrap-up of the papers.